Uh, all right, next up we have uh, Him by Funk McLovin. Um, oh, that's my favorite Powerpuff uh, antagonist. <laughs> she is uh, quite, quite active in the uh, Homestuck community as well as several other fan communities, I believe, and uh, is also very multi-talented. In addition to writing, she does a lot of uh, musical stuff in particular. Um, but this is one of her Homestuck fix. Uh, this one is called Him. It is rated teen and up, uh, no archive warnings. Uh, we've got a Jake slash Dirk, an autoresponder, uh, and little Hal slash Jake English. Um, I'll take I'm sorry, and... I can't read this. I'm five years old. AI That's and, a joke. AI and, <laughs> and robots. Um, summary, I saw an ASMR video based on the movie Her, and I thought... What if instead of Scarlett Johansson, it was Lil Hal? Basically, a no-game, normal Earth AU, Jake English gets a new AI, and it assumes the form of Lil Hal. Uh, edit, I probably won't be making more chapters of this unless enough people want more. Comment or kudos, if you do. Um, so let's see. We have, I think it's just Jake, narrator, and Lil Hal. There's a Jade uh, voice, too, it looks oh, like. Oh, okay. I'll take My... narrator this time. My okay. heart is telling me... To take a little how, but at the same time, like my doll voice is loud and it is like late at night, and I don't want to wake up anybody in my family slash annoy them. I mean, do do what you do what you think is best, and we will we All will right. work with that. I'll just high pitch my voice. I'm something. I'm low key screaming at my tablet right now because it's not finishing the ad. Okay, um, Hosta, were you saying that you were gonna narrate this one? I I couldn't hear you. I also said that they wanted to narrate, yeah. Okay, that's fine. From what I remember, at least. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me drop a link to this in the chat for anyone that wants to follow along. Um, you got that chat. All right, I'll put it in all the... Oh, okay, you got so in chat. Okay, so is narrating. Uh, who wants to do Jake's voice? Oh, yeah, you're right. There's a Jade... Uh, oh, it's a Jade hologram, whatever. Um... Uh, does anyone want to do Jake's voice? Uh, um, well, I guess it depends. Uh, I can do either Lil Hal or Jake. I don't want to... Doing both of them doesn't sound like a good idea. Uh, I can do... I can be Lil Hal. Okay, then you're Okay, Jake. I'll be Jake then. I'll do the one I'm sorry, line. did you want Lil Hal? Oh, I don't care. I, 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 I can do either. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do the one Jade line. Ah, uh, yes. Homestuck. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're all stuck at home. Yes, indeed we are. That's quarantine, baby. All right. Um, Hosta, let us know when you're ready since you are the narrator. And you can start yes. whenever you want. We're just have slight technical difficulties because this ad won't get past eight seconds. Mm. And I'm having to restart this whole thing. Hate Have to blocks. see it. Right. You gotta love technical difficulties. You do not, in fact, gotta love them. <laughs> I would suggest Rebellion. you, in fact, uh, not tolerate them. Yeah. <laughs> Rebel against the system. Oh, Smash God. your tablet. No more ads, then. Also, don't do that. <laughs> oh, <no>. Nobody do <laughs> that. Not. Nobody do that. It's Twitch's. Hmm. It's Twitch's fault. All right. It's not being happy. Right. Sorry, we're if you want to just, uh, are you, wait, are you trying to follow along with the fic on the stream? Yes. I would suggest that you just go to Archive of Our Own. I think that'd be quicker. Oh no, what? Yeah. Why not? It's on both of my, it's, uh, okay. my, blocked. Uh, all right, well. Can that... you take over? with this while I'm trying to work with Yeah, that. sure. Um, I'll do the narration, I guess, and the Jade voice, and then y'all can do the Jake and Lil Hal. <clears throat> I just saluted. Oh my god, I need to stop <laughs> talking with my hands. I mean, you're allowed to. Yeah, we just won't know. <laughs> I, I am enjoying having you tell us about it as right. well. <laughs> Jake looked down at the little package. Must be the new computer he ordered. The thing was a Got it? Wait. It's up? 
No? Oh, no, Gamzee tried to get in again. Oh, okay. Uh, my bad. <laughs> the thing was allegedly a miracle machine. It could help with organization, streamline workflow, set smart reminders. It could do just about anything but suck your dick, it seemed. That's why Jake was a bit perplexed. It wasn't exactly computer-sized. It was a tiny little orb with a single button on it, not to mention the Skynet logo. It didn't even come with a manual, just one simple instruction. Press to begin. Well, I got it. might as well give it a go. Click. Jake yelped as the orb sprang to life, spit, spitting a beam of light right into his eye. He swore as the orb rolled away under a dresser, forcing him to fish it awkwardly out. The light had struck his eye and had amalgamated into a tiny, into a teeny tiny hologram of a friendly-looking woman who he recognized as his own grandmother, Jade English. Go in. Hello, everyone, said the jade hologram, opening its arms. Jake couldn't help but smile. He could call Gram Gram soon. You've been invited to test the capabilities of the latest in personal computing, Real OS Beta. Real OS is an AI that learns your needs. It tracks your data across various devices and offers you real-time suggestions on how to manage that data. It can be as mundane as a personal assistant, but one of your scientists here at Skynet uses it to compose music. Did Hasta, did you say you got it or No? Oh. Orb over in his hand. Okay. Oh. It was nice of Grand Grand to let him in on the this project. He wasn't exactly a tech savvy fellow. I hope this wouldn't be too much for him. So, without further ado, please enjoy a real OS. Program faded away and replaced replaced with a new one. A rotating image of the Skynet logo. A new voice chipped out of the orb. Good evening, Jake. Jake blinked. H Hello? Jake said hesitantly. Goodness, who the devil are you? I am the real o uh, 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 I am the real OS Live calibration system. To make you more comfortable with your new real OS assistant, please answer some questions. Oh, one moment. Things are acting up again. Do, one, do, do, one do, moment. Do, do, you do, need. Do, do, okay. okay, you good. <laughs> the voice was somewhat overbearing, while robotic was eerily cheerful. Just the type of personality Grand Graham would have infused the OS with. Jake couldn't help but grin as the voice continues. Continued. How's your desktop poison uh, organized? Uh, well, it's. It's not ideal, but... Jake began, but before he could qualify himself, the voice pressed on. How much do you use your computer for work? And there, I suppose, comes in handy. How is your dating life? I beg pardon? How much internet pornography do you consume per week? <laughs> Prank? Jake got his answers, the voice interrupted again. Jake knew this wasn't a real person, but he couldn't keep his cheese from flushing. Sorry, I muted myself because I had a cough. VLOS has now developed an AI personally best suited for your needs. No shit. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, um, they just blipped out, so I'll I'll do the little howl voice. Oh no, they're back. Okay. Hello. Okay, sorry yeah. about that. Um, I'm back. having difficulties with Discord. Um. VLOS will now deploy an AI personally bested uh, for your needs. The orb went dark. The projector from which the hologram emanated blew a few times before firing up again. This time, no hologram spat out. Instead, the orb simply glowed a dull orange. Yo! <laughs> the voice was different now. Instead of a sterile, cheerful man. Man? Okay. It was a husky voice. More... <laughs> oh, no. Manly, robust. Sure and hip. Jake shook his head. This was the personality best suited for his needs? Hello! Oh, oh there we go. Jake replied at last. Uh, sup? The name's Hal. 
voice sounded easygoing, almost too natural, too human. If not for the monotone ever so slightly robotic compression. Hello, how? My name's Jake. How'd you come up with the name How? Oh, all the AI's names that. Nah, I picked it because of the movie. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, not again. No, oh. No, it wasn't you that time. <laughs> uh, if Asta got booted, I'll do narration. My computer did it again! No, it wasn't you. It was. Hosta, okay, oh, there dang. Hosta is. Okay. 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 Alfred? 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 Ha! Huh, you've seen 2001? Your orb over in his hands. It was odd, like holding a little man in his palm. Sure. It's on your hard. It's on your hard drive. After all, I just watched it. You didn't pirate it, did you, naughty? <laughs> I didn't pirate it. Jake said defensively. Then, defensively. <laughs> then he realized he was talking to his computer. No sense fitting. Well. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, I did, but you watched it just now. Yeah, duh. I'm an AI compadre. I'm a computer man. I can watch movies in like nanoseconds. Them's the par them's the perks of being a machine. Oh golly, I'm a tad jealous. Don't be upshot. I can watch any movie in any time. Downside is I'm trapped in a shitty orb. Pros and cons. Object. He was already speaking to it as easily as a person. More so, even. Jake had trouble when it came to speaking, that involved anything personal. He could engage in small talk for days, but when things got serious, he bounced. Not with Hal, though. Words billowed forth like Hal was drawing them out. Jesus, dude. Little Hal said, voice strained with disapproval. I read ahead. Wait, what? Jake kept t Hal tight, frowning. I just checked your porn folder. <laughs> Jake shook the ball a little, angry, cheeks re-reddening. Look, Shum, it's called hentai, and that is art. I've paid good money for some of those commissions. <laughs> God. No. <laughs> Thanks, Jojo. That tracks. <laughs> right. Thanks, this, Jojo. this absolutely <laughs> tracks. This is very on brand. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> this Great. I don't know what any of you guys are talking about. I'm having a, a ball of a time. <laughs> this is reading like that screen, right? Thingy. <laughs> I mean, this is this Look. is JoJo's uh, deal. Her her fic is like this, and it's great. It's always entertaining to read. <sighs> Look, I'm just gonna leave the folder be. I was going to go through your files and optimize some space. Maybe delete the stuff that you haven't used. But I didn't even want to touch that. Hal chuckled. Chuckling was a strange sound when it came from the orb. It was so calculated and precise and cunning, uncanny coming from the robot, yet still friendly and jocular. While well, I'm at it, give me access to your phone. I can see your computer hard drive when I'm in range, but I have to get some software permission for your phone. Just hit the accept button when it pops up. Complied, allowing Hal into his phone. I get the feeling that this is not going to turn out well. Fingers crossed. Jeez, a lot of contacts you'd ever talk to, huh? Al said. Jake did see him scrolling through Jake's contacts. That was a little choppy there. Through his contacts. Here, Buster. I didn't buy a computer so he could be a judgy Jason about my virtual habits. I'm the one with the finger to the touch the off switch here, bub. <laughs> Chuckles again. And Jake felt his anger soften. Hal was so strangely charming. No matter what Jake did, Hal seemed to like it, even if Hal was giving him a hard time. Usually, Jake had no idea what to say to give the right impression, but Hal, well, with Hal, it was all too easy. Talk to him. I don't like where this is going. Talking to him was almost intoxicating. Jake's heart flooded. You have known this person for under a, under ten minutes. What Relax, Jake. 
You are talking We're... to a robot, Jake. Look. So, look, sometimes you gotta date, make do, and if you smooch an AI, good for you. <laughs> Relax, Jake. I'm your friend. Don't say words. Spoken from fleet speakers, non vocal clap. For the first time in his life, Jake believed it. A friend. Perhaps it was a little sad that the first person he ever felt so at ease with was a robot, but Jake hardly cared. He was at a loss for words suddenly. You're my Jake, what friend. The f fuck? Look, Jake doesn't have any friends. Let him have this. Jake is touch starved, and this. Oh dear. Jake. I'm such a Sue. Jake ain't special. I'm not there. Probably be a lot easier than dating a human, because like AI is gonna be able to know stuff. It's gonna be able to know what you do, and a human, humans are flawed. But like, mm -hmm. fair. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge him too much, cause like fair, but like honestly, oh, uh, Jake, Jake managed after a moment. How bright a little more brightly orange? Sure, you and me, Jake. Uh, I was made to help you. You'll help me too, right? Uh, oh, right? Hesitantly, Jake laughed. Is it supposed to say jerk or jerk? No, nah, I think it's a typo. I think that's the reveal. Oh, maybe. Said hesitantly, Jake laughed. Uh, sorry, I couldn't- I forgot you couldn't see me nod there, buddy. Was it nodding? No. Jake went- Jake's window. He must look mighty odd. For the rest of the night, he sat still at the same spot, eminently talking to the orb in, his, in the palm of his hand. That's nice. I like that twist of him talking to Dirk. They're just chatting. They're just friends, my guy. His friends talking, maybe they kiss, you know. <laughs> oh, we've had chat, we've had messages in the 